Hey guys, welcome back. I am so excited for today because we finally get to try the new cake vault. I think we've run two cake vaults at this point and both of them were a ton of fun. However, getting out was always a little tricky, especially the second time, because you had to rely on a cake pedestal randomly appearing towards the end of your time, which didn't always happen and then you'd have to run a long way to get out. I think I had to run about 15 rooms back last time. But this update should solve that problem because I believe there's now an exit pedestal in every room. So we don't have to worry about getting out of the vault anymore, which is perfect. Plus, as I mentioned last episode, they've changed how the modifiers for each cake works. So now everything just increases a little bit with every cake and oh man, I'm just so excited to try this out. But before we make a crystal, I mentioned last episode that I thought I should probably start actually using some of my trinkets. And I think this time round, I'm gonna go for Wendar's Hourglass, just to give ourselves an extra two and a half minutes inside the vault, so we have time to find even more cakes. And then I think I'm gonna go with Tenos Necklace to get some extra item quantity, which would be lovely, and it has so many uses, I may as well use some of them. And now we're all geared up, let's make a crystal. And let's pick a new bounty. So we can either kill some dweller mobs and get black opal and blank seals, or we can collect bolt essence and get black chromatic steel ingots. Ooh, let's go for, let's go for killing dweller mobs. Why not? Plus we can't forget we'll also be completing our legendary bounty at the same time, which just makes everything even sweeter. <laughs> Ooh, okay, looks like we've got a sweet theme, potentially. And look at that, 31 minutes and 30 seconds inside the vault. That is kind of an OP trinket when you've already got all of the relic sets completed. Although, to be fair, they are going to be taking the relic sets away from us at some point, but it hasn't happened yet, so let's just take advantage of it while we can. Let's go. Oh man, the sweet theme feels strangely apt for a cake vault. I can't lie, and it's close-ish. Where is it? Is it down here? Doesn't look like it, but there is the cake pedestal. As I said, I think they're now in every single room, which just... Oh, it just gets rid of the entire anxiety of how we're going to get out of this vault. It is very, very nice. We need to find the cake in this room if we're going to want to do this. Okay, now it's definitely up here somewhere. Is it up here? Oh man, it has been so long since I last tried to do this. I can't even remember how strong the cake aura can get. Oh, it's gone away, so it's not here. Is it downstairs? Did I just completely skip over it? I probably did. Oh boy, it's going to be one of those days, isn't it? Where I feel like it's incredibly obvious what I should be seeing. I'm just completely missing everything. Oh, it's right there. I'm smart. I am so smart and observant, I definitely saw that it was on top of that. And I was just testing you guys to make sure that you'd seen it too. Um, yeah, I promise. I'll, um, I'll get into this. We'll get there. In fact, I found that one very quickly. Okay. I feel like it's trying to be kind to me now because it was like, you you struggled more than we expected. We should probably make it slightly easier on you because you're not very observant, which is fair. 
be nice if it just kept doing that and we found an absolute ton of cakes today. It would be... Oh, thank you. I also have to be very careful not to click on the crate pedestal because it's always very shiny and therefore very tempting to click on it. But I don't want to get out of this vault until I'm actually ready. That would be such a waste. Oh, hi. Nice to see you. Where did you come from? Honestly. I don't think the cake's even up here. I mean, I may as well grab at least some ores, I guess, while I'm here. Actually, I do need to look at what the cake layer actually specifically says it does. So maybe let's take a second to do that. Just while we're here. So, it increases the mob damage, the mob speed, soul shards, chest spawns, coins, and the amount of items in the crate, and the chance of getting an artifact. Yeah. So, I think I said last time, but yeah, everything just increases a bit with every single cake that you get. So, the more cakes you can get, it would be so much better. But, ooh, cake is up here. I did not think it was. I also forgot I haven't been marking my way, which is actually quite important for knowing which way just opened if you don't see it open, because I am mildly directionally challenged at the best of times. Oh hi! I do need to kill dwellers though. And knowledge essence would also actually be greatly appreciated so let's just grab all of these while we're out while we're here right, there we go perfect and now we've got all of our knowledge essence i can't believe it took quite so long for us to get that but we did run into just absolutely no living chests last episode it was kind of ridiculous But where on earth is this cake? Might be upstairs, potentially. Okay, hello. over here somewhere. Aha, it's right there. Thank you. Which way are we going? This way. Oh man. We are actually doing pretty well. 25 minutes left. Although, to be fair, we did have an extra two and a half minutes than usual. So, all of my usual timekeeping is slightly out of whack. But that is a chest that isn't normally there. She's just showing that even though we're only like seven cakes in, those extra chest spawns are at least slowly starting to show up and pay off. Which is very, very nice. I will always take extra chests. I love my loot. Hi there. I was very peacefully looting, actually, if you don't mind. Hmm. 
starting to get an aura around here. Where is this cake? Oh, it's right there. Well, that's good. Man, I am got relatively unlucky with this theme, I think, because the cake, even though it's more distinctive than the festive vault, it's still a little hard to find inside this theme because everything is so white that it's not quite as obvious. I think that one where we got the Badlands theme has got to be the easiest theme we had for this because everything was bright orange apart from the top of the cake which meant it was very easy to see from above although admittedly slightly harder, harder to see from the side because the bottom of the cake did kind of blend in a little bit. And... Hmm. No sign of cake. Must be upstairs somewhere. Oh man, I don't remember what, how many cakes we got last time. Probably should know that. There's something attacking me from behind. Probably should know that, so we know if we've beaten it. But that's fine. Could be in here. That would be quite funny. Oh wow, that is that's a lot more chests than usual. Oh boy, yeah, that increase in chests is definitely paying off. I. I'm very much liking this and I can 100% see why they made the seal uncraftable because if you could just make these and run them whenever you wanted to that would be kind of OP because they are very very good that's a sparkle tinky okay is that the best way up probably God, I hate not being able to see anything. Oh god. Hi. Hello. Yes. Hmm. Ooh, what door is that? That's probably a pizza night door. But I'll double check it's not a tubium. All of these chests. Oh, it's so nice. It's kind of like a chaos vault without all of the chaos. Although, with a different sort of chaos, I suppose. Are you a tubium door? You are! Oh! I did not expect that to actually work. Well, what have we got this time? Ooh, okay. Coin stacks, bonus ornate, an epic vault helmet, opportunistic focus. 
I will take all of this, thank you very much. And then I will also take all of the stuff from the sand, please. Yeah, that has a lot of good stuff. Okay, I really did not think that, that was a tubium door. I'm so bad at telling the difference between all of the green doors. It's actually a problem, but we did it. And there's the cake, even better. And that sounded like a champion spawned. Yes, it did. Hi, you don't have any modifiers, my friend. That's very kind of you. Thank you for the bolt leggings. And look at all of these chests. Oh, it's kind of ridiculous, but also amazing. We've only got nine cakes. Well, actually, this would have generated with eight cakes. Imagine when you get to, like, 20. Or even more than that. Oops. Oh hi! You are a leech boy. I've learned to be careful of you after last time. Ooh, but an epic plus helmet, I would most definitely take that. Thank you very much. Okay, well this is all working rather nicely. Oh! And a living Omega room when we've got extra chests. Well that's... This is a lot of stuff. Okay. Um, hmm. Well, I guess let's just loot what we can while we try and find the cake in here. Because that's going to be very interesting. Oh boy. We have been so lucky already. Look how many chests there are down there. That's ridiculous. I, took that. I did say that we got like no living chest last episode, so I think it was probably just trying to make up for it, but it more than did that. Look at all of this stuff. And we've also got to try and keep an eye out for the cake, because as amazing as this is, I do really want to try and find more cakes and see if we can keep this going. But I haven't seen any ore yet, which means it might be upstairs. I, I do not understand my own luck. I'm not sure I ever will, but considering we just found the a treasure door that we needed, and then pretty much immediately afterwards found an Omega room. Yeah, I feel incredibly, incredibly lucky. And I don't think anyone would argue with me on that point, because... It is kind of ridiculous. Although, finding the cake in here is proving interesting. Maybe it's over there. Can I do that? Ooh, just... I did not think that was going to work. Hmm. There's still no... Cake. Oh, there it is. Aha. Of course, I had to be up on the slide. Thank you. And let's just get. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Let's just get a couple more chests and then we'll keep going. I didn't mean to do that. Because I think we have to have had the majority from this room now. Why is there so much loot just flying everywhere? Okay. Uh, 
Um, which way am I going? I'm going that way. I am so smart. Okay. Well, I'm sure there are still at least some chests left in that, but we also have the whole rest of the vault. So let's keep going. Let's see how many more cakes we can find. 13 minutes left. Oh, I'm very close to being able to click that without having to worry about repercussions. Hmm. Ooh, what are you? Oh, that's the durability damage reduction. I will definitely take that. Thank you. I do have an entire swarm after me to be fair. I might have I might have made a mistake. Come on. There we go. Alright, what do you want? Kill 48 assassin mobs. Okay. That should hopefully be not too bad. I can see the aura. It was over the other way, I think. Over this way. Yes. But where? There. God, you like to make things difficult, don't you? What are you? Not assassin mobs. Okay. I think the assassin mobs are the blue ones, if I'm not mistaken. So, try and keep an eye out for them and make sure we kill them. But otherwise, it shouldn't be too long, even if we fail this. I can see the cake right th there. And we're going this way. Perfect. Oh, and it's given us a nice easy one. And extra speed. Okay. Well, that should definitely make it easier. To go between rooms, we are so fast. Oh, I deal so badly with extra speed. And I always forget when I click on it, and then I go, Oh man, that is... That is much faster than I expected. Oh, there's some aura over here. It's right there. Perfect. Ow. I think that's a vendor. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, chest plate, bolt helmet, and Mr. Egg. Mm. No, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna keep my promise. Ooh, but the cake is right there. Thank you. That's the way we came, so we're going this way. And this speed is actually, while unwieldy, very helpful. Is it on top of something again? That's another leech boy. Okay. Ah, oh, darn it. Oh, I completely failed at pressing my dash button. Oh, that is the first time in a very, 
very long time that we've died inside the vault. Ooh. Okay. Well, with every cake, the mobs also did get harder, so I guess I can't be too surprised by that, but... Man, I just wish I hadn't flubbed my dash key. I really thought I was gonna get there. But either way, since I play casual mode, I still get to keep all my stuff. And we got a lot of great stuff from that vault. We got a ton of knowledge essence to complete our bounty, two waning focuses, and then all of this lovely, lovely stuff, including 15 gear pieces, I think 17 jewels, a coin stacks catalyst, and a bonus ornate catalyst, and I didn't even notice getting this, but we also got a mushroom inscription, which we probably got from inside that mushroom, so that is absolutely wonderful. Plus, we completed our bounty, so we get to open that as well. As for our jewels, we actually got quite a lot of very nice ones. So we have this durability and copiously, which is wonderful, an item rarity, and the shoveling is a bit of a shame, but I think it's still worth keeping hold of, a size 15 vanilla immortality and reach, which would be very nice for an overworld tool, size 15 again, but gilded affinity and copiously. I think for this one, I would use it for the 3.2% copiously, because that is a very nice roll, and size 15 is brilliant. Size 10, Gilded and Reach, may as well keep hold of it. This one is a little bit big, but I think potentially worth keeping hold of because that is a max roll for Trap Disarm and item rarity is always very nice. Size 12, 3% copiously, can't complain about that. A size 19, 2.7% item quantity, which is very nice. And finally, a size 19, 2.5% item rarity. So all in all, we got some really nice jewels this time round. And then as for this gear, Ooh, ah, oh, it's an axe, but it is an Omega. And unfortunately, I don't think any of this is really worth keeping. Although we did get a legendary on this for the increased ability power, but I've already got a couple of pieces with increased ability power and this is only scrappy. So don't think we unfortunately had anything worth keeping. Probably the best things we got are the two axes, but I don't use axes, so nothing out of that. But I'm always happy to get more scrap. And while we may not have completed our cake vault for the bounty, I did spy another seal inside the black market. So I think I'll just pick that up so we can try again. However, I don't think I want to try again today, especially because it would be a very, very long episode. So instead, how about we just run a normal vault and then next episode we'll give the cake vault another try. Sound good? Good. Let's get ourselves a crystal. And of course, we can also take the other bounty for finding Vault Essence. What do you have for me? Ooh, a Soul Surge, plus 100% Soul Shards. And that is quite the scav. Two Zombie Brains, nine Pottery Shards, seven Purple Mob Essence, three Spider Soul Charms, and five Krat Scripts. Okay, that is definitely a challenging one, but... We'll see how it goes. Also, you might notice I did end up taking off my Wendar's Hourglass, but I did decide to keep my Tenos' necklace on because who doesn't want more item quantity? But I figured an extra two and a half minutes in a random vault isn't necessarily the best use of my trinket. Although looking at this scav, I might need the extra time to try and complete it. I think I'll just see how this goes. If we don't end up completing, that's not a huge worry for me. I just want to have a fun vault with hopefully not too many issues along the way. That sounded like a champion, which I probably shouldn't go after considering what happened in the last vault when I encountered a champion, but that was a slightly souped up version, so hopefully it won't be as problematic, although it is a spider. Thank god it's not a leech guy, otherwise I would most definitely have no chance. Thank you. Bolt shield, a key piece, and... Nope, I think I'm good on all of that. I don't know exactly what it is I am actually looking for in there, but I'll know it when I see it. Ooh, nice. We completed our bounty, which means we just need to collect six more Dweller mobs and then we'll have completed both of our bounties, which would be very nice. Perfect, and that is our other bounty done. We don't have to worry about 
either of them anymore. What are you? Difficulty hard? An ornate. Oh, I don't need anything from ornate. But I'm also not overly concerned about completing this vault because I do need a lot of stuff. But I'm just going to leave this anyway. I think this is another new dungeon because I do not recognise this at all. Ooh! Well that was a very nice surprise. Okay. Yep, definitely glad I decided I'm going to loot this. That's another trinket. Yep, definitely still very glad I decided I'm looting this. That hasn't changed. Okay, I guess this is just the vault's way of apologising for killing me in the last one. Which is very nice of it. They didn't have to do that. It was my own fault for not keeping a good enough eye on my health. But I'm not going to say no to extra loot. There's a potion archive. We haven't seen one of these in ages. In fact, not since it became a quest. Ooh. Cast summons a level 4 spirit totem, reduces active cooldowns by 40%, or casts a level 5 mega jump. Oh, I honestly don't know. Um, Let's go for reducing cooldowns. That seems like a nice idea. And what are you? Loot 44 wooden chests. Okay. That's not too bad. Not gonna lie, as much as I would quite like to complete this objective, I don't think that's super doable, but I would like to find the wooden chests and complete this god altar. So let's try and focus on that. That sounds like an achievable goal and also a very good one. What about you? Ooh, a guaranteed Omega shield? I might have to get that. How often do we get guaranteed Omegas? Take it. Honestly, I'm such a sucker. They never should have put these in. I mean, it's a brilliant idea that they put them in, but it's far too dangerous. Spending all of my hard-earned gold. Although, to be fair, that is kind of what you earn the gold for, is to spend it, so not exactly a waste. 40 something seconds. I need to find like seven more. I'm gonna fall at the last second on this. I just know it. So close. And yet, so, so far. One more. Come on. Tell me this is wooden chests. Yes. Come on. Please. Yes! <laughs> oh, that must have been incredibly close. And what does that do? Oh, I get extra speed. How lovely. Oh boy. Yeah, that was cutting it a little bit close. Ooh. A lost bounty for 46. Or an artifact fragment for 56. Oh, I mean, that is incredibly tempting for both of them. I can't really afford it. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have bought that shield. We unfortunately don't have time to go back and collect the token. But oh, that's fine. Ooh. That vault was very much needed. Ooh. And we leveled up, got 190 chests, a good amount of coin piles and mobs. And we got a lot of soul shards from that. Ooh, that was good. Yep, that vault was exactly what I needed. And we got a lot of amazing loot. We got 15 chaotic focuses, a good amount of ores, like 16 jewels, 39 gear pieces, and the two trinkets from that dungeon, which was amazing. Plus, we completed both of our bounties. So while we don't have a completion crate to open, we do get to open both of these.
And as for our jewels, this time round there weren't very many interesting ones, but we do have this size 19 3.3% copiously, which is very nice, this size 10 7 mining speed, which is lovely, and this size 34, which admittedly is very big, but it is a perfect copiously roll and some mining speed. So I think I might keep this one and potentially cut it down just so it's a bit of a better size because it is quite big at the moment. And as for all this gear, ooh, an epic. And that was only from the scrappies. And from our commons and above, I think I'm actually only going to be keeping hold of these two. So first we have this magnet with an 18.9% copiously, which is very high and i'm pretty sure that a couple of episodes ago i kept a different copiously magnet but that was like 14 percent so this one is just a hundred percent gonna replace that one and then of course we have our omega shield and it's actually very interesting 31 thorns damage with a prefix of thorns damage i potentially might try and roll this one around and see if i can make something better than my current one because my current vault shield is incredibly very nice but there is some room for improvement, and a Omega would be a way of improving it. So I'm definitely going to keep hold of it, and I might see what I can do with it. And then finally, we have our two trinkets, and I'm very interested to see what both of these are, but I do want to do it one at a time, because the anticipation of rolling a trinket is just too good. So let's see what the first one is. Valara's Petal, that is new, and you are plus one regeneration with 26 uses. Ooh, guaranteed one regen for the entire vault? That could be very interesting, especially for a very dangerous vault. To have that regen just ticking in the background could save your life. Could really have probably done with that in the cake vault last time. Ooh, okay, well, let's see what the other trinket is because that one was very interesting. And a portable cat. Okay, what on earth is a portable cat? Grants a dodge chance for incoming projectiles and removes block damage from explosions. Okay, that is quite interesting. Would be very, very helpful against all of the archers inside the vaults. Those are both very interesting. I think obviously Valara's Petal seems a bit more powerful because one regen inside the vault is just so good. But this is giving you a chance to actually block some incoming damage, which could also save your life depending on the situation. Ooh, those are both very nice. And two more new trinkets. So good. Well, it may not have quite been the day I was expecting to have, but I think it turned out in our favour. After all, if I hadn't died in that cake vault, I never would have run a second vault today, which would have stopped us from getting both of those trinkets, so it all works out in the end. Plus, we did manage to get another cake seal, so hopefully next time we'll have better luck and actually be able to complete the vault. I, I may have to use my new Valara's petal to give me a little bit of a better chance of surviving, because I, I really don't want to die in another one of those. But we can worry about that next time. Until then, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.